Okay, this is a demonstration of my tone decoding capabilities for uh, VHF. This uh, little combination can decode CTC, CTCSS tones as well as uh, digital DCS tones. Uh, the software required is a little virtual or a little virtual audio driver called VB Cable Virtual Audio Device. And basically what it does is it allows you to pipe the output of your audio device into this device driver, which will then bring it back into the computer without you ever having to use any type of audio cable. And you can send that to uh, the input of another application. So that's the, uh, the driver that we're using for that. We're also using a ham radio SDR application called HDSDR. Uh, we're using a little Japanese application called KG Tone, which is actually the tool that decodes, it takes the sound in, the audio in, and, uh, and it's able to detect the CTCSS tone or the DCS tone. Uh, along with HDSDR, this is the actual receiver that I'm using to, uh, to receive the uh, UHF radio signals. And I'm just using a, just a uh, little handy talkie antenna. And uh, so I've got HDSDR running and I've got the audio output piped back in through the virtual cable uh, into the KG Tone application. And uh, to do the test, I'm using the Yesu FT3DR, and I'm gonna be transmitting on 464.550, and we're gonna be, in this test, using a CTCSS tone of 146.2. So, I'm gonna key the radio up, and there's the tone, 146.2. CTCSS. Okay. Now let's switch to a digital tone. Let's try DCS 734. Again. HDSDR, sending the audio over to KG Tone, which will then decode it. Whoop, might help if I change the frequency on the receiver. 468-3875. Okay. Again, and there it is, DCS 734. So handy little combination, all loaded on a small Dell laptop. And you can take this to your racetrack, your favorite racetrack, and uh, scan the frequencies and find out what, uh, what tones and what frequencies your uh, favorite race car driver is using.